Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to fix the Windows Update Error 0x8024A204 in no time with a few easy fixes. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to restart services in the Services app. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Services and then select it as an application from the search results. Now in here in the Services window, make sure to locate Background Intelligent Transfer Service and double click on it to open up its properties window. Now in here make sure to set up the startup type to automatic and then click on the start button if the service status is stopped. Click on apply and OK to save the changes and then head over in the same list to Windows Update. So scroll way down until you find the Windows Update service, double click on it to open up its properties window, make sure to set the startup type to automatic and then click on the start button if the service is stopped. Now just click on apply and OK to save the changes and then close this window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to reset Windows Update component. Now to do this can take a bit of time, but don't lose patience, just follow the instructions and you might just fix your issues. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now, I will not stay to show you each of the commands as I type them in. You will see that there are quite a few commands to reset the component. So what you have to do is check the description below and access the link that I posted. This is a paste bin link which contains all the commands that you have to copy paste in command prompt. So what you have to do is select each command from paste bin, copy it, then go to command prompt and paste it. Now press on enter, wait until the process is finished and then move on to the next command, so forth and so on until you finish the list. And you can just restart your computer and then you can check if the issue still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and then in here make sure to head over to system on the left pane and then on the right side locate troubleshoot and select it as a category. Now in here click on other troubleshooters and you have the Windows Update troubleshooter in here, click the run button next to it and wait until Windows will detect if there are any issues. Afterwards it will try to fix them as soon as possible and then you can check if the issue still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to repair system files. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then type in CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window, make sure to type in the following commands, but press enter after each command. You can also find them in the description below, so copy paste them and wait until the scans will be finished. They will try to fix your computer if there's anything wrong with it and then you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it, super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality fixes. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.